But on today's watch list, you probably know that Hollywood traditionally releases some of its most exciting films in spring and summer, and this year's no different. We have the lowdown on the blockbusters that are coming soon. You will never be able to break my family. Summer is rapidly approaching, and much like the temperatures outside, things are heating up at the box office, with upcoming blockbusters like Fast X, the tenth installment of the Fast and Furious franchise, set to hit theaters next month. It's showtime. Here we go. Game recognizes game. We got a chance to chat about the upcoming movie slate with J. Elvis Weinstein, one of the creators of Mystery Science Theater 3000, a long-running TV series about a man being forced to watch B-movies as a science experiment. Is it our turn now? Yes. Building your career off of riffing on cheesy movies can give you an interesting perspective. I guess you could call it love-hate, really. <laughs> it's my relationship with movies, but I still prefer good movies to bad ones. Weinstein filled us in on three spring and summer flicks he's looking forward to seeing. The first is Paint, starring Owen Wilson, which is in theaters now. Don't worry, it's not rocket science. It's harder. I'm excited about this movie for a couple of reasons. One, because it's from a script that was written about 10 years ago. I'm also excited that it's sort of a fictionalized version of Bob Ross. Paint is said to draw inspiration from PBS's The Joy of Painting. Maybe there's a happy tree, evergreen tree. He lives right there. My name is Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one and only Spider-Man. Next up in Weinstein's triple feature is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse which hits theaters June 2nd. I love any kind of a different take on superhero dumb at this point. This brings different energy to it that separates it from the behemoth superhero machinery of the studios and makes it feel like a different thing, kind of. I am the spot. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't, don't do that. Finally, he's holding out hope for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which comes out June 30th. He says the franchise's previous installment, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, was a little too cheesy, kind of like the movies he used to deal with on Mystery Science Theater. I want it to be good. I'm going to treat it like I'm excited to see it. I'm going to go with an open heart and an open mind, but I assume there's going to be eye rolling going on. I'm a sucker for Harrison Ford. Get back! A look at the spring and summer movie forecast on the watch list. We'll be right back.